Hi, my name's Andrew, AJ, Andy, depending on who I'm talking to, friends call me AJ, family call me Andy, and if I've done something really wrong, you can call me Andrew. I'm 33 years old. I'm a web developer based in Plymouth. My grandfather was a woodworker during the war, and my father learned from him and some other members of my dad's side of the family. So I got into woodworking when I was quite young. Woodworking's a hobby for me. It's one of the few hobbies I've got. And uh, when I was looking to buy a house, having a workshop was one of the things that was my non-negotiables. I needed somewhere to be able to practice my woodwork. I do woodworking as a hobby. I'm not a professional. I don't make any money of it. I do a lot of carpentry projects as opposed to woodwork. So building things like cupboards and uh, key cabinets and that sort of stuff. I also make shelves and planters and small pieces of artwork, just little odds and sods around the house. I describe my woodworking style as chaotic. I prefer to just go at it and start cutting wood and seeing where it goes. My favourite type of wood is oak. I have no particular reason why. My favourite tool is chisel. Sometimes I like to prioritise ease, so things like pocket holes and screws rather than proper joinery. Sometimes I like to make things for purely for fun, things that don't necessarily have a reason or purpose. I just want to make something a little bit different. I like to push myself a little bit sometimes, and I think I can be over ambitious with some of my projects, um, which is why I'm probably not going to mention any of those on this video. So my biggest project at the moment is my hallway. I've got a Georgian house built in the 1900s um, and I've slowly been doing the hallway up. So this includes putting a new ceiling in because it was unbelievably wonky. So more carpentry than woodwork. And also looking at the staircase, which it was nice, but was covered and horrible. So I think I'm going to have to replace some of the spindles. Some are broken. You can see here, they're just in dire need of repair. So for this, I made a key cabinet. So this one's made out of oak. Uh, when I re-plastered this wall, so I had to take down all the lath and plaster and put up my own plasterboard and plaster that, I left a hole purposely for the key cabinet. So when you enter the house, you don't catch your face on it, it only sticks out maybe uh, an inch and a half. And this was a derivation of a, a key cabinet I made for my mother first, and a second version I made for myself. I've also got my wardrobe, which is a long-term project and has been ongoing for a few years now. I've got other things in my bedroom, like a bedside table and a bay window dressing table. I made the light for my kitchen, which I was quite proud of. So one of my uh, more recent projects was I uh, made a sign for my sister. She just moved, recently moved in with her boyfriend. So they wanted a nice design. So I, I did this in Illustrator. So that was a case of stick it on, route it out. It gave me a chance to do something really artsy and a little bit, you know, finer work. I recently made a planter box for my mum's 60th uh, out of oak, and I used some big fat dovetail joints in that. And I experimented a bit with brass, um, so inlaying a bit of brass into it. it. Really doesn't take a stamp well. So I've also got things like shelves in my front room. Um, I've got the fireplace where I hung the mantle with a French cleat, uh, a distressed clock, as you might call it. Um, I've done cabinets for other people's homes and other little projects like tea trays and mirrors and that sort of thing. So this is my workshop. Uh, there's meant to be no cats, but they of course can't read the signs. My basement in the house is divided in two, so half is a studio for creative work and the other half is my workshop where I do my woodwork. You can see first off that it's a bit of a mess and that's because I've had a few projects on that require to talk short timescales, so I haven't had time to maybe clear it up as much as it usually is. You can see some of the tools around, we'll talk about those in a minute. I've got a wall of hand tools, so my chisels, my saws, my hammers, my rulers. And the main workbench is sadly my to-do pile and my wood store and my work area, so it's a bit messy. I like to keep an assortment of wood, anything from slices of tree to uh, pieces of pine and oak and purple heart and whatever I can get my hands on. There's a big tool uh, storage shelf full of screws and 
and that sort of tools. I've got my vice. I've got a drawer full of sandpaper and um, pocket hole screws and my doweling jig and all sorts of random tools. This is my favourite tool, the bandsaw, second hand, um, but it does does a treat. Um, reasonably safe to use. Um, it's got quite a variety of cuts and um, I feel it's a lot safer than a table saw. Although the throat is broken on this so I can't really adjust the depth of the cut. I've also got a table saw for the long cuts and a cross cut saw so I can cut in all three dimensions. Uh, the other electronic tools I've got, I'm quite proud of my thickness of planer. Um, but I'm not averse to using hand tools as well, so planes and chisels and saws, as I mentioned. A uh, whole host of clamps, as every woodworker has to have. And uh, basically everything I need.